Stone fruit includes um, plums, peaches, and nectarines. Um, and then there's other things that are within the stone fruit family like cherries um, and apricots, uh, but they're typically higher chill, um, require more cold, and so we don't grow them here in Florida. But we have a unique marketing advantage that we can get things into the market when there isn't any. We want to be able to span the time period where we're putting fruit on, on the market from early April through about mid-May. The fertilizer application rate is important because the more growth you get on a tree, the better the fruit size might be, but we might also have some conditions that predispose that fertilizer to being leached out of the ground into the groundwater. We want to be able to make sure that we're minimizing it. We want to make sure that we're applying the correct amount, and so that's why we're doing this research, is to find that optimal rate to get good tree growth and good fruit quality. We've been doing our research mainly on mature trees. We've just planted a new orchard um, that it will be able to split out the application type. So we'll also, we'll be doing banding, which is traditionally done with a granular fertilizer about three times a year in large quantities. Um, the other treatment will be with fertigation where we are just doling out the uh, nitrogen fertilizer little by little each week. So we're only applying it, I think, as the plant needs it. The long-term goal of this project is to reduce the amount of nitrogen so that we are putting it on um, to make sure the trees live the longest that, that's possible here in Florida and to give us consistently high fruit quality while minimizing the impact on the environment. It's only the first year of the project, but we're already seeing in our um, nitrogen treatments that, are too, that we think are too high, we're seeing excessive nitrogen. I really love physiology. I love looking at an application and seeing the results, diverse results. So where we're getting no nitrogen put on and where we're having a high rate of nitrogen put on. And just to see the difference and have some sort of example for growers, I really think that having the demonstration for growers makes an impact. An FDAC study in 2008 that was published in late 2008 indicated that we could hold about 10,000 acres in the state and the markets would be uh, available for the, those 10,000 acres. We're only at about 1,900 to 1,000 acres right now, so we certainly have the potential to grow and the interest is there.